name is Yu Chao Yan, and I'm from Grandview Institution, which is a Chinese independent think tank located in Beijing and Xiamen. Uh, in the Grandview Institution, uh, my team and I we started a lot of work about marine research, we researchers, uh, including marine economy, marine industry, and marine strategy, and also the most importantly, small island uh, economic development. And we use our big data technology and we have our own uh, website and a search searching uh, platform to uh, keep monitoring or observing the information from uh, as much as islands that we can get. In this conference actually I share some of the results of my study uh, which is the concerns and suggestions of, of island economic development for the small island developing states which is called SEEDS. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, based on our long-term monitoring and obs observation, we get more specific details about each seed. And we believe this, they have their own different concerns. And I believe, I believe their concerns are the driving force of their policy making and to have a better and scientific plan for the future. So we can divide in the concerns of all the seeds into two uh, general categories. One is for marine sustainable uh, development, which uh, of course they are facing a lot of natural uh, threats, including the uh, sea level rise, which is number one of them. And also, they have the need to develop their marine industry, which is the pillar industry of the island economy. And to do that, they have they are facing some shortage, like their lack of uh, uh, fund money and the talent and also their lack of some technology and beside that I think their the most problem is their uh, lack of infrastructure uh, infra infrastructure construction which uh, is um, which quite limits their port transportation industry uh, from this conference uh, actually I got to meet a group of uh, scholars from all, all over the world and get to make friends with them and to hear their opinions from a different angle of the small island research. Um, what impressed me the most, I would say, is how is the importance of sub-national uh, jurisdiction, uh, jurisdiction that I, uh, we have been working on the small island, we have been focusing on the small island nations too much so that we didn't really think about the SING, which is small, uh, sub subnational uh, jurisdiction uh, country, uh, territories. We didn't focus on them too much. And from basically from many scholars' speeches I get is that people need to think from the uh, from the vision or from the islanders' vision instead of uh, national national wise. And if we print if we consume that we are an island. Islander, um, we will we will think the better they think. We will think the way they think. We will understand their concerns, and it will better to help us to solve the problems they're having. I think there. Uh, I think the Chinese. Uh, I think the Chinese government or the Chinese subnational governments needs to find a new way to uh, uh, make to make sure that the Chinese good feelings and the Chinese. Uh, those uh, good intentions need to be digested and to be well communicated with the local communities to realize, to let them realize, okay, what this is all about and how this can really help you and what actually we want from it or not. So I think this is the good communication is a step one of all kinds of initiatives, uh, including some very good ideas, some of my colleagues. Uh, from this conference, I got so many. Uh, Topics and so many ideas that I would like to uh, keep doing and keep following and keep digging. Uh, so I, I'm really looking forward to the next forum or next reunion of this group of people that we can talk about what we have done, uh, well, what we have done based on what we take away tomorrow.